What's going on brothers? In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very important video and that is millionaire investing habits for teenagers. The things that you need to implement in your life if you're young, the things I wish I would have known when I was young and really some more additional information. In this video, it's going to have everything you're going to need to know after the day or the time you turn the age of 18 years old, the steps that you can implement to really get ahead in life and to achieve financial freedom at an earlier age. Before we dive into that, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really means a lot. And furthermore, let's dive into one of the most important videos I've ever made right now, brothers. Now, step number one is you need to get a credit card. We've addressed this a multitude of times at our channel. Credit is very important, you need to build it, and it's about having a length of credit history, paying your credit card off on time, and a multitude of other things. If you have not checked out the best credit cards to get, make sure to check out that video as well. So again, get a credit card the day you turn 18. If you don't have one right, right now, pause the video, Go get a credit card right now. You need to start developing your credit score. You're gonna need that to buy a house, to buy a car, a multitude of things, really for pretty much everything. It's gonna be like your financial report card, but for you know the real world and anything that you're going to be buying, you wanna know how to use leverage and debt and taxes and money. So, you know, that's what the rich use. They use debt and taxes. And it's really important for you to be able to leverage, you know, using and utilizing a credit card um, to, so you can use other people's money or OTP. So that is number one. Number two is you need to go open your own bank account. If you don't have your own bank account, make sure to go open one. That could be one through Ally Bank, Bank of America, or through a local credit union. But the main thing you want to make sure is that there's no monthly fees or anything like that. Typically, you're not gonna get a large substantial amount of interest or have your money grow in the account like that, but you want something that you're able to use. You don't, you know, there's no minimum deposit. Something like that that is close, that's reliable, really gets you getting used to being able to understand assets versus liabilities and your income versus expenses at a young age, which is very important to master. So that's number two. If you don't have a bank account, go get one right now, your own bank account. Learn how to manage your own money. That is very imperative to do step number three is one of the most important ones in my opinion we have talked about this a lot at brotherhood finance and that is obviously investing early and that is first off getting a roth ira now why do you want to get a roth ira right now rather than later well number one you are already most likely in a low tax bracket and not to mention you can get compound interest which i like to think of is you know a piece of snow rolling down a mountain that it you know, accumulates more and more snow. Think of it like the compound effect of your money growing off your money over time. And the sooner and the longer, the better, the more compound interest you are able to create, the more generational wealth you are going to be able to achieve. And it is very easy. Go get a Roth IRA. You can do this on Fidelity, you know, and other brokerages as well. And we've talked about Roth IRAs. Again, this is, what is a Roth IRA? It's really an account where you can put in six thousand dollars or fifty five hundred dollars depending on your income um, every single year and you're going to be pre-tax paying into that money and then when you pull your money out all the gains everything that you have earned all of your returns on investments over a span of 20 to 40 years or whatever it may be however long you keep your money in there for it to compound and grow when you then pull that money out you don't have to pay taxes um, but again take advantage of it while you can you are in a low tax bracket and you can use compound interest when you're young so here's the example right here Let's Let's say you invest $5,000 over 30 years at 8%, you would have $50,000 roughly so that is a pretty good roi now if you gave yourself another 12 years and you start at 18 rather than the age of 30 you would then have 126,697 dollars from a five thousand dollar capital principal or a five thousand dollar investment at the age of 18 into a roth ira that is why getting started early is so crucial i mean look at that difference the difference of 12 years of starting from the age of 18 to 30 is a 5,000 investment to 50,000 if you wait till you're 30, or when you're 18, a $5,000 investment to $126,000. 
That is a difference of 12 years at 8% ROI or rate of return. Imperative, get in, get early, Roth IRA number three. Number four is you need to stay out of consumer debt. Too many people live above their means. They don't live frugal enough. You need to stay out of consumer debt. Don't go buy, don't go try to look rich. Stack your money, save your money, earn, keep, and multiply. Something we have very talked about quite a bit at Brotherhood Finance. Number five is you need to get a job. Get in the workplace, get experience, really build up your skill set and you know really try to grow and accumulate as much capital as you can while you're young that way you can invest build your credit build that bank account all all those things they really combine and help set you up for financial freedom number six kind of goes back to what we were talking about live below your means not above your means again you know earn keep and multiply you don't need to go buy a new gucci belt you don't need to go out and travel a whole bunch you're young time can be your best asset or worst asset live below your means stack your cash act broke don't go buy you know a whole bunch of tangible um things that you that you may want to get like a new fancy car anything like that live below your means invest and you know set yourself up on the right path number seven is reconsider college your family your friends Everybody's trying to push you down a right path. If you're not sure what you want to study, maybe go to a community college. Or if you don't need college, maybe reconsider it. I see so many people, they go, they get into college debt. They don't know what they want to study and they just jump right into an industry because their family or their friends kind of push them in that direction. Make sure what you're studying, what you're doing, is actually going to put you in a right spot, not only financially, but for your career and something that you enjoy. You, there's, you know, there's a lot of trades out there, a lot of other things that you can do. If you're going to go to college, make sure you're following your passion, something you love, and you have a game plan set and stone. Step number eight is how to invest. Now, when you're investing, you want to typically go into something like a low fee index fund. You want to invest consistently and you want to hold for the long term. As we have showed you, time is your best asset or your worst asset. The longer you have, most likely the higher return investment you're going to get. Now, additionally, on top of that is you can take risks while you're young. If you're young, you might as well go try to start that business. You might as well invest maybe in two more of a riskier asset vehicle. You can make mistakes while you're young rather than when you're 40 or 50 years old. Again, I think failure is one of the best lessons, one of the best teachers, and taking risk early is something that you will see the highly successful typically do. Again, brothers, if you found value in this video, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a comment. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Um, furthermore, if you missed anything, make sure to go back, rewatch it. We've talked about Roth, we talked about credit scores, we talked about you know building your credit, all of those things. If you want to dive more into some of the examples and the strategies we talked about today, make sure to check out all of our other YouTube videos. As always, though, have a great rest of your weekend, a great rest of your day. Peace, brothers.